Is your machine not cutting, cutting unevenly or engraving poorly? You can fix it. And today I'll explain you how, along with other common CO2 laser issues. My name is David, this is Wirmer. Check your subscription and let's get started. Cutting dimensions are off. If you notice that part dimensions are gradually shifting along one axis, for example, 100mm in your design turns into 99 or 98 in reality, check the belts. Probably the belts need adjusting, but be careful, over-tightening the belt can put too much pressure on the linear bearings and cause other problems. If the dimensions fluctuate sometimes 99, then 102, then 98, the belt most likely needs to be replaced. To help prevent this issue altogether, Watson installs 3M belts on their CO2 machines. These belts have larger teeth, last longer and are more resistant to wear. Also, don't forget to clean the two cell pulleys that drive the belts. Dirt can build up and slightly increase the pulley diameter, which causes dimensional distortion too. You can find a full video guide on CO2 laser machine maintenance on our channel. Open contours. If your shapes don't close properly, there are usually two reasons. Misaligned diagonals, a bent shaft or pulley. What to do? Draw a rectangle the size of your entire working area, use outline engraving and measure the diagonals. This will show you where the misalignment is. Locate the shaft and the couplings on either side. There are two options. Raise one side or lower the other to align them. Either methods work. To do this, loosen the appropriate couplings and shift the shaft slightly. Important, move it just a little. Three millimeters shift in the diagonal doesn't mean you need to shift the shaft by three millimeters. Then tighten the couplings again and recheck the diagonals by engraving another rectangle. Adjust for the if needed until everything lines up. If you're struggling with any part of this process, just contact us. Virmer's support team and service engineers operate throughout Europe. Machine jams during operation. This is often the first sign of a failing bearing, either linear or in the pulleys. Poor maintenance allows dirt to build up inside the bearing, putting pressure on internal components and eventually causing the bearing to tear itself apart. To avoid jams during cutting, keep your machine well maintained, clean and lubricate it regularly. If the problem has already appeared, the bearing will likely need replacing. Coin shape cuts. This issue is rare in our machines, but if it does occur, there are three possible causes. Unstable support frame, some machines with weak or lightweight beds struggle with precision. What some machines, on the other hand, are built with reinforced beds and vibration resistant supports to ensure stable cutting even during fast movement of a laser head. High cornering speed. The machine uses maximum speed for straight lines and minimum speed for curves. Try lowering the minimum cornering speed for better control. Cutting acrylic. If coin-shaped cuts appear in acrylic, try lowering the air pressure or reducing the cutting speed by 10%. Would you like me to include a section about backlash? Let us know in the comments. Didn't find your issue in this video? Leave a comment and our engineers will help you out. My name is David, this is Wirmer. Subscribe and like the video so you won't miss the next. See you soon.